stampers welcome to another week of watch it weekly wednesday i'm aubrey and today i'm excited to share with you a stamp set from the new 2019 2020 annual catalog it's one of my favorites that when i first saw i was like oh i can't wait to play with that one it's this bloom and grow stamp set i loved the different flower details in here and the sayings i love the um the cursive with the the print font I just think it's such a cute set and I was so excited to get my hands on it. I loved when when I got it how big I realized the stamps were. You can see they're they're all really good size and they're so fun. So I want to start off by just showing you some samples that I've come up with this past week playing with this set and just some different things you can do with it. I feel like they they lend themselves to different coloring techniques really well. Here's one I did using the blends, you can see here. And then with this one, I used um, an aqua painter and I just colored in the pretty flowers. And I also used that, a new, the new stamp set Birch, the background stamp, and that one's really pretty there. On this one, I used some watercolor pencils and then on this one, I, I did a different technique and I embossed those flowers. So it, there's a lot of different options you can do with this. It's really been fun and it's one of my favorite stamp sets so far. But I wanted to show you a fun technique today. I've been kind of waiting for a really good stamp set to come out that I could show you this technique because it's one I've done before, but this stamp set really lends itself well. So I just wanna kind of jump in and show you. I'm going to start by stamping these two flowers. This one I'm gonna stamp with the Memento Black. I'm just kind of in the center there. And then I'm gonna stamp this one with Crumb Cake. And I'll show you why I'm gonna use those two different colors in just a second. Okay, so just like that. Now I'm gonna kinda let those dry for a second and I wanna just pull in some cards that I made here. So I have, I, I've colored this one and you can see I colored this one in the crumb cake. And I just wanna show you just a little bit how I colored it. I just, I started with um, Blackberry Bliss blends and I just gave a little bit of shading here. And then I came in with the lighter color of Blackberry blends and just colored that all in. Just blended it all together. Now, the cool thing about this technique is you don't have to be perfect. <laughs> That's always something that I like because I am a perfectionist. So anything that I'm like, ah, you can kind of fudge the lines a little bit, that's okay. So when you turn it over, you can see how the lens have bled through the back of that paper. And that is what I did here. You can see it just gives it almost like a watercolory look instead of the full blend look. And I just think that's a really cool, different way to use those blends. You just stick it on a card like that and it just gives it kind of a different look there. Um, I wanna show you one other way. Um, I stamped this one in the Memento, and I'm gonna use the Bermuda, get some color on there, and then again, just kinda come in here and color it in. The reason that I used Crumb Cake on one of them and the Memento Black on another one is because the Memento Black, you can sometimes see through it, it will bleed through the paper as well, but the crumb cake doesn't. You can't see it on the other side. So if you want kind of that softer edge look, the crumb cake gives that to you, whereas the memento, sometimes you can kind of see the black through, but it looks great either way. So let me just show you on the back here. It just kind of starts to bleed through and look really cool. So let me show you the card I made using this stamp here. So here's the coloring that I did on the one side, and then you flip it over, and you have 
just a softer blended look on the other side and then I just stamped down a cute saying and you have your card so fun one other one here I this so this is what the back looks like I just used this smaller flowers in here and just kind of stamped all over and then my saying on the other side so it just gives it kind of a cool washed look on the back on that card there and then one other now this one I just took the blends and just kind of ombre them down so I used Calypso Coral and Petal Pink I, those are two of my favorites if you've ever watched another video you'll know those are my two favorite blends and they all blend really well together so I just kind of did an ombre look and then on the other side I just stamped let's celebrate you and it gave it this really cool almost like rainbow look on this side so I thought I mean very simple but just a cute way to use the blends that way too and not have it a floral look so I hope that you like this stamp set this has been one that I've enjoyed playing with and I like I said I've been kind of waiting for one that I could show you this fun technique with and I feel like it lends itself really well to that if you're interested in making a purchase make sure you visit stampinjill.com and if you need a new catalog make sure you email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com and we'll see you next week for another watch it weekly Wednesday <laughs>